the narcissist will play this sick game with you. When the narcissist first targeted you, they put you on a pedestal. They love bombed you. But then they later devalue you. They take everything away. They no longer seem to love you. They no longer seem to care about you. They're no longer affectionate. And they know exactly what they're doing. It's a sick game that they are playing with you. To make you doubt yourself. To tear down your self-esteem. To make you believe you're unworthy of anyone or anything. They make you feel like something is wrong with you. So that you don't have the confidence to leave them. Because you think that they're right. You think they're as good as it gets for you. So now they can treat you however they choose to. And you will tolerate it. Because you've been conditioned to believe that you are the problem. You fear that no one else will put up with you. They've made you believe that you're not good enough for anyone. Because it keeps you stuck. It isolates you from anyone who could give you value. And they don't want people to give anything to you. Because then you would realize that the narcissist isn't treating you well. And they don't want you to come to that conclusion. Because they're only trying to take value away from you. They don't want to have to give you anything. So they don't want you to be around anyone who makes you think that you're worth more. Anyone who makes you feel like you're special. Because the narcissist wants you to think that you're nothing. So that they can keep getting that bargain. So that they can keep getting that discounted rate. Instead of paying the price for what you're worth. Which is how the only way that you can leave the narcissist is by realizing your worth. By giving yourself the value that they never gave to you. Because they're never going to give you that value. And they're going to try to isolate you from anyone who could bring value to your life. Because the narcissist wants to be your only source of influence and validation. They want to tell you how to think. They want to tell you what to feel. They want to tell you how to see yourself. And what is wrong with you. Or what you need to improve. Because they want you to think that you're the problem. They want you to think there's something wrong with you that you need to fix. And they will use it as justification for what they do to you. They will do horrible things to you. And then blame you for it. And if you try to leave. They will try to make you feel fear, guilt or shame. They will try to make you feel like you're doing something wrong. They will get you to focus on your decision of leaving them. Rather than what caused you to make that decision. They will deny any wrongdoing. They will gaslight you. They will shift the blame onto you. To make you think that you have no right to leave. They will always leave you feeling like you're the problem. 
and the more time you spend around them, the more you will begin to believe it. They brainwash their victims. They pressurize them into adopting radically different beliefs by using systematic and forcible means. They indoctrinate you with a false narrative, which is why you have to stop listening to them. You have to stop letting them do all of the talking. Because it's having an effect on you. It's changing the way you think. It's changing the way you see yourself. And it's changing the way other people see you. It turns you into a shell of the person you used to be. Because you begin to believe in everything they're telling you. You start to agree with it. Because repetition fuels our belief. And the narcissist is very repetitive. They say the same thing several times. So if they keep telling you you're not good enough or something is wrong with you. If they keep pointing out your faults and mistakes. Your flaws and imperfections. Eventually it's going to tear down your self esteem. And you're going to start to believe them. You're going to accept their distorted ideas and perceptions of you. You may not believe it in the beginning. But if it's done repeatedly. Eventually it's going to have an effect on you. It's going to change the way you think about yourself. It's going to change the way you see yourself. And it's going to change how you act and behave until other people start to see you in a different way. Other people start to think there's something wrong with you. Other people start to think that you're weak or you lack confidence in yourself because by the time the narcissist is through with you, you will be. You will lose any self-assurance that you once had for your qualities or abilities. You will become very insecure and other people will start to notice it and they will treat you differently. They will think there's something wrong with you because they don't see what the narcissist is doing to you behind closed doors. And this is just another part of their sick game. Because the last thing the narcissist wants to see is you having confidence in yourself, believing in yourself, loving yourself. They do everything they can to strip all of that away from you, to make you hate yourself, to make you feel small. Because that's how they really want you to be. They want you to feel like you're nothing. They want to feel like they're better than you. And they want other people to think that as well. Which is why they play this sick game with you. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed to tear down your self-worth and self-esteem so that you appear broken and vulnerable to other people so that people no longer admire or respect you. It isolates you. It causes you to want to be alone and it allows a narcissist to gain further control of you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk.
Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.